Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be talking about a lot of interesting things, a lot of um, great subjects. So this is going to be a two part video, not one video, but two videos because it's, it goes into a lot of information about a lot of different subjects. So uh, please make sure you watch both if you want to get the information from today's session on both, from both videos. But we talked about the energy in February, the energy of love and how we're connected to it and how does this help uh, humankind out as well. So very interesting on that. The second thing was a healing meditation. I got a couple of responses that y'all enjoy the healing meditation and <clears throat> another healing meditation came through and it was pretty a different point of view, but it was, it was pretty good. So you're going to, you're probably going to enjoy it. If you enjoyed the first one, you're going to enjoy this one as well. The third thing that we talked about was manifesting, manifesting what you want in life, whether it's a job, a car, a house, how to manifest things, how to bring things into your reality. So you don't want to miss that. And <clears throat> fourth thing we got was talked about was ascension. What does ascension mean? And what does it mean for the whole? And I was bringing up the question of what does it mean for the soul? And it kind of gets very deep into the question. So, and the last thing that we pretty much were talking about was the solar shifts, the solar shifts and the polar shift. So this is going to be two videos, not just one video. So I'm going to break it up into two. So please make sure you subscribe and please make sure you hit that like button. And I'm going to have trying to have both videos up this week, hopefully. So if not, it might be no more than a week apart. So I'm going to start working on the first one. But as I said, it's going to be two videos and I don't know which one's going to have which categories or which subjects, but you definitely want to watch both of them. So thank you very much. My first question is if Daniel, the Octorian, if he has any messages for us today for the YouTube collective mm. or any other councils. Yes, this is Daniel. I will speak first. This is, this is such a fun time to get together with you all and to share all of these different ideas and insights. This is a very magical time with your world. And we, we as a group, as a collective on this side, we are excited to bring the information into your, into your reality, into your minds, and into your thoughts, as your thoughts are a very, very mm, important piece to, to each and every one of your realities. The message, what would the message be from us to you? And we say to you to always find your joy. It is important for you to keep your vibrations high, to keep them, mm, at a frequency that reminds you of all the wonderful things in the world. Oftentimes, the one we speak through will say, keep a gratitude journal. This, we say, is a very good idea. Find the things that, that you are grateful for, the things that you mm, see as a blessing in your life. Find the things that make your heart sing and go to those places, even if you can only go there for a moment. That moment is magnified, the energy is amplified, and then it's easier and easier each time you do it. Hello, I am the one that, that she calls the Imperial. As we are going into this month of February, this is a wonderful time to remind you, as you are coming up this week, for those who are watching, we are in the month of February. This is how we should say it as we are doing this channel. And we are coming up on what you guys refer to as Valentine's Day, the day for love. And we have been spending a lot of energy with this one here, talking and speaking of love and being in love and being in this energy. We realize that in your reality, Valentine's Day is about a romantic love. But we ask each and every one of you to just be in love, in the love energy. 
Hmm. This is a message that we would like everyone to do all the time. As you live out your days, find the things you love and be in that energy. Find the people you love and be in that energy. We ask you most importantly to be in love with yourself. Love who you are. And if you do not, then our message to you is to find reasons to love yourself. Find those parts of you that you do love. Forgive the parts of yourself you do not love and move into that love energy as this is creating the new reality and the new earth. Go ahead and ask your questions now. <laughs> you must have read my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I know some people are going to ask these type of questions. You mentioned to love yourself. And as odd as that is, people usually want to know, like, how does someone love themselves? Like, more detailed information on that, how to love yourself. Mm. It is an unfortunate thing that society in this earth realm teaches us not to love, teaches each individual to judge and to judge not only others, but to judge themselves, to hold guilt and shame and anger. And it is so important at this time to look at those areas of self where you hold yourself in judgment, where you hold yourself in fear or anger. And believe me, the universe will provide the scenario for you to find where that anger is being hidden, where that shame, that guilt, and that judgment is being hidden. You will find yourself being confronted with it if you do not know where to find it. The world around you is built and constructed to help you. One of the subjects today is going to be about purging these energies. It is going to be about releasing yourself from this bondage. It is going to be about accepting yourself as you are whole. Remember, you are in a reality that offers you duality, meaning you will have the good with the bad, and you are the light and you are the dark. So we ask you to please embrace the parts of yourself that you have been taught to shame or to feel judgment over. And when you heal those parts of you, when you can go in and love those parts of you, then the world around you will no longer mirror it to you as a negative aspect of self. You will start to see everything as beautiful and love. And so that is where we ask you to begin. Find the places in yourself that you are not happy with yourself. And then dig deeper, look at why, and then heal those pieces. We ask you to start with the heart and move into your heart chakra, into your power chakra, your center chakra, and find those places first and bring up the fear, the hurt, the pain, the loss of power, the, hmm, the place where you feel stuck where you're not moving forward, where you're being held hostage in your own reality, but not by choice, by belief system, by attachment. Where do you believe you deserve this? Where do you believe that you need this in your life? What are you attached to here? We ask you to erase those belief systems. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> we do ask you to at least look at them. Look at those belief systems. Find yourself. Find yourself in there. We see it as if you have a grip on, a, on the side of a building and you're hanging off. Let go of that grip. Let that belief system go. And as you do that, you open the window to step into something way more magical. You step into something that is called creativity and manifestation. Once you let go of the idea that you can't have it, then there's nothing stopping you from having it. Was that a better answer? Yes, yes, a very good answer. You mentioned 
manifestation, and I know you was listening to our conversation earlier, that was one of the things we we're talking about. And you mentioned being on the side of a building, letting go of one hand and, and let manifestation, manifestation take place. Can you give us a better example of that? Of manifestation. Yes, like how to how to manifest. Mm -hmm. Manifestation can actually be a very easy thing. We do it every day, all day long. Everyone does. We do it in our reality, you do it in your reality. If you think about your thoughts, your feelings and you put out into the world hmm, let's say you want you want a new car hmm, somebody just got a new car hmm, maybe <laughs> we'll share that story yes yes that would be a great manifestation story so you want we'll to share <laughs> and you put out into the universe that you want a new car but there's that part of you that is looking over at the checkbook going, mm, we cannot afford the new car. You will not get that new car. Mm. This one here has a manifestation story around a car as well. Mm. We'll share that one very quickly. This is her story where she was going to go get a new car and she kept proclaiming, I do not want a minivan. I do not want a minivan. <laughs> you know what she drove home in? A minivan. <laughs> where your energy goes or where your thoughts go the energy flow that is that is what you guys say here she was creating that minivan with every breath she had her mind so focused on what she did not want that she created it mm, interesting and it was the most magnificent demonstration of manifestation we couldn't have been more pleased she manifested exactly that which she put her thoughts into. Wow. And if we could convince all of you to put your thoughts into what you desire, like you do with what you, what you do not want to manifest, then you would create magnificent things. You would be so bored with all of the wonderful things that you have created in your life that you would start to do things just to stir it up. It would just be getting too good. Well, maybe not, but we do say, put your thoughts and energy into the desire. How many people do you know that are maybe dating somebody and what do they do? Is that person thinking of me? Oh my gosh, they haven't called me. That must mean they don't like me, right? Well, now you're creating that. You have created a story and you have created a manifestation. Mm. So the universe says, okay, that's the story. We'll just go with that. Or let's give another example. If you are looking at two jobs, two new jobs, you would like to get a new job. And you have two new jobs and they both look good and they both look good and they both look good. Oh my gosh, they both look good. Mm. Okay, the universe is just sitting there in its little theater chair with its bucket of popcorn waiting for you to make a decision, which one do you want? Which one do you want? And when you finally say, as you're sitting there, they both look good, they both look good, they both look good. Oh, now somebody got that one. Well, now they're, oh, nope, somebody got the other one. Why did that happen? Because you did not make a decision. Mm. Tell the universe what you want. The universe is just waiting for you to make that decision. The universe is waiting. You sit on the fence. Maybe you're saying, well, if it's meant to be, then it will happen. And sometimes that is true. Sometimes it is a destiny. And that is different than a manifestation. That is something you have arranged and, and put into your timeline so that you will run into it at a certain time and place and when you are ready. But a lot of this life that you live is a story that you can write yourself you can manifest and create as long as it does not interfere with your destiny and so when you're sitting there looking at two things that you want and you do not make a decision then poof, they both go away so make your decision make a choice 
Or if you sit there and say, hmm, neither one of these are good enough, universe, I still want something better. Ah, no, the universe has something to work with. So we say to you, Jason, when you went looking for a car, let's just, let's just say, I have $20,000 for a car and I'm giving it to you, Jason, will you go buy me a car? What are you going to bring me? A car. <laughs> a car. <laughs> Now, if I said, Jason, I have $20,000. I want a blue car and I want it to have a sunroof and leather seats and heated. I want it to have one of those cute little backup cameras on it. And I want it to have Bluetooth and I want it to have and I want it to have. And I give you the list. Then what are you going to bring me? A blue car with all those list mm -hmm. of items. <laughs> now, you tell your story, Jason. How about your car? Your manifestation. Well, I'm going to need a little bit of time, but I'll try to tell it as much as I can. But it's it started off where at the gym, and I brought up the car. This is a Toyota Camry, uh, the XSC model, and we were talking about it. And I was mentioning how good looking the car looks, and that we should look into it. But at that time, uh, Karen wanted a different car with red seats. So, but she did not like the feel of the car and she didn't like the price of the car. So I was like, well, let's give this other car, the Toyota Camry, a chance and let's go see what, what they have available. And I went online to come to find out they had red seats and she, which was even kind of interesting because when she checked out the website, it did not have red seats available. So I told her it had red seats available. Then after that, she was interested in a car. I set up an appointment and on my side, I was like, I wish it would be nice if it had the two-tone feature, the white pearl and the black top to the vehicle with the sunroof, the panoramic roof. So the next day I went online and sure enough, they had an option for it. And I thought that was interesting. I said, Oh, wait till I tell Tracy about this. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, we were like, okay, we built the car and it was amazing. So we love, we both loved the car and set up an appointment to go look at this very exact car. They had one available. We went to go look at it and loved it. Um, seeing it online doesn't do it justice versus seeing it in person. So the car was, is very beautiful. Talk, talk to the people there and come to find out I'm, I even know the sales manager at the dealership. We went to Disney World together and my mom is friends with his grandmother. So I was like, oh, small world, kind of interesting on that part. And on top of that, um, I wasn't ready to pull the trigger that day. I said, you know, let's wait and think about it because they gave us all the numbers and it seemed like the numbers kept on getting higher and higher once when you add in the expenses, the taxes, the fees. And I was like, oh, but we're in a hurry. So we had to leave. And I said, we'll touch base with you tomorrow. The next day, I made a decision to go forward with the car. The car was already gone. But I was like, well, these people, well, actually, it was a week later. A week later, the car was already gone after we made a decision to move forward with the vehicle. And after they told me that the car was not available, I said, well, let me know what plan B is. So whatever you have to do, whether you have to order another vehicle, let me know. And I'll just put it in your hands. And sure enough, I get a message the next day saying that we have another car available with an upgraded package, fully loaded, which had the option that I really liked which with the heads up display and it, he gave it to me at the same price as the, the lower end package. So I got an extra package at the same price for the car. And 
So I thought that was interesting how all this was playing out. And it was kind of like patience is a virtue because if I would have jumped on that first car, I would have been missing out on the second car with the mm. extra package. So that's, so, so I thought that was a very interesting story. And I wanted to know if there's some work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is called trusting your intuition. Mm. Yeah. You felt that urge to wait and you trusted that urge or that, that nudge and you waited and something better happened. Yes. And so that is another good mm, topic, so to speak, is what each and every individual has intuition, has that gut instinct, has that little nudge. And as the veils are being lifted, as these frequencies are being heightened, each and every one of you will start to notice that your intuition is becoming sharper and sharper. And we ask you to trust it. We ask you to tune into that part of yourself before going out here, go in here. Before making the big decisions, take that time. Take that time to go inside and ask, is this the right time to buy this car? Is this the right time to make this move? Ask yourself, and we do understand that when it is more personal, it is a little harder to get your own guidance accurately. But we say that there is still that nudge there, even when you're very attached to the answer. So we ask you to do your best to trust, to trust what you are getting, and to find your answers within yourself before seeking them outside of yourself. And those will be your best compasses Go into the heart, go into the gut, and ask yourself first. But that is a beautiful story with a very happy ending. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And do we assume Karen is happy with her car? Oh, she loves it. Mm -hmm. very she good. loves it. She loves everything about it. Yes. So you've heard a, an example of a car deal gone bad. No minivan, no minivan, mm -hmm, minivan, and someone who had patience. And by the way, that story of the minivan, she was being told to wait. And she was mm -hmm. interesting. She was being told not don't go tonight, don't go tonight. And she was so anxious to get that new car that they went. So um, it goes with saying patience is a virtue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we, we applaud you for your patience and your reward was, was there. Yes. Yes. Um, did she wind up wanting the minivan or she just, no, she hated that car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. And the extra giggle to that story is, um, her ex at this point, but at the time she was married. He was the one who test drove the car. He did not check the car for any hmm, bells and whistles, you might say. And so he drove it home. And the next day she gets in the car to drive it for the first time. And there is no power options, no power door locks, no power windows. Everything is manual. And she has three little kids to get in and out of this car. And now she has to lean over and lock the doors. and. You know how that goes. So yes. this was definitely a lesson in manifestation. She listened next time and she got the car of her dreams on the next one, but she did not get to do that right away. She had to drive this one for a while. It was a good lesson. <laughs> With that being said, I'm, I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure someone's probably thinking this, but would this also um, power of manifestation would that work with business investments and money by any chance it should work with anything you ask for it to mm, as you are working on anything in life it should work mm -hmm. we say the one area to be careful and this is common knowledge is everyone has free will so when you are working in a group setting such as business or partnership or romance you are also dealing with the free will of another. 
So we say to you, when you are working in this environment, you are looking for the answer for yourself, not, not just, you know, if you would want a certain partner, per se. So if you're romantically looking at, at uh, what do we want to call this person, person A, this is the person you want, this is the person you are trying to manifest. We're not saying that that would be impossible. But what we are saying is why? Why would you want to manifest person A? Is it the way that person makes you feel? Is it the way that person makes you laugh? What is it about person A that you would like to manifest? And that is the true manifestation, not the person. It is the way you feel when you are with that person that you are trying to manifest. So we ask you to take the person out of it. Person A can go sit on a shelf. What you are manifesting is a relationship where you feel like you do when you are with person A. And we know you have an attachment to that person. And sometimes that is a soul recognition and it is very justified to have that attachment. But we still ask you, if you truly want to manifest in a relationship, manifest the desired feeling, not the person. And the universe will know which person to bring in to bring that desire in best. Same with business. You are, if you are working with others, you must ask for the desired outcome for yourself. And you can put out there your desire for the collective. But what you are really manifesting is how do you want to feel? People often get material things confused with with the feeling that they actually are trying to manifest. Hmm. An example would be, hmm, should we go to Disneyland or should we go to Hawaii? Well, <laughs> the, the wife wants to go to Hawaii, but the kids want to go to Disneyland. Now what do you do, right? And so let's say the kids win and you go to Disneyland, but now the wife is sad. What the wife needs to look at is what was the feeling she was looking for when she's in Hawaii. Now create that in Disneyland. Create that feeling. You are very powerful beings. You can do this. You can take that disappointment and turn it around. Say, what was I looking for in Hawaii? Hmm, time with my family, bonding, love. Hmm little strolls on the sand. Well, maybe you won't have that, but you could still take a little stroll with your significant other and have fun with the children and create the same bonding and the same feelings that you wanted to create in Hawaii. Make that happen in Disneyland. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So it's not necessarily the thing or the place that you're manifesting. It is the feeling that you hoping to achieve when you are there that is what we are asking you to bring your mind and your focus to how do you want to feel so with money you want to feel safe you want to feel secure you want to feel relaxed you want to feel whatever whatever the next thing is for you that is what we want you to focus on so in a way it's best to focus on the results mm -hmm. the outcome exactly. Yes, as if you already have it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What does, look like? what does it look like to pull out your debit card and be able to buy whatever you want? What does that feel like? What does that look like? What are you buying? But yes, the feelings are the amplification of the manifestation. So the feelings are the thing that you want to be focused on as if you have it. Just like we were explaining earlier, if you focus on the don't want, then you will amplify that manifestation. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you do want. <laughs> what is the outcome you desire? And think about that when you are in relationships where there is arguing. What is the outcome you desire? How do you want this to end? And really go deep with that. How do you want that relationship to turn out? Do you want to be right? And this is not us 
just us talking here. This is very common knowledge. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy and in this relationship successfully? These are powerful tools of manifestation. You were a perfect example of that when you withdrew from an impulsive decision to buy the car and took some time to think about it. And that gave time for that manifestation to evolve into something even better. So we ask each of you, pull back. Reserve yourselves a little. What is the outcome you desire? How do you want that relationship to go? You're miserable at your job? How would you like to be at your job? You are the one in control of that. It is not those people outside of you that are making you miserable. This is <laughs> our manifestation. You get to make the choice. Are you happy or are you sad? Which energy are you going to put out? What do you choose? And we know that this can sound really difficult if you are feeling sad, depressed, or feeling burdened or overwhelmed at this time. So we ask you, if you are feeling the heavier energies, the density of these heavier manifestations, we ask you again, find something to be grateful for. Baby, step your way back up. Find something to be grateful for. Find something to smile about. Play some music that lifts you up and makes you feel better. You have a sad day? That is okay. You are in the human experience of duality. It will ebb and flow. That will happen. You want to get out of that bad day? Play some happy music. Tell somebody how nice they look. Pay a compliment to somebody. Open a door for somebody. Do something kind and see if that helps shift your energy. Take your focus off of the thing that is weighing you down and move it into something more productive. Interesting points. <clears throat> so <clears throat> with that being said, what if someone is just not happy with their job, even though they're trying different things, but they just know that the boss is hard on them or they just don't like their job, period. I know it's a broad question, but I know that's one of the main things a lot of people will run into that they're stressed out because of their work. You know, they, they don't like the job that they have. We will say this to you. If your job is not feeding your soul, you are going to hate it, right? What is it that you would want to do? What would feed your soul? So many people are programmed to go to school, then go to college, get married, have two children, get a house, a dog, whatever it might be, and get that corporate job. And then they work 10 hours a day. And they come home and they're too tired for the wife and the kids and the dog. And day after day is the same. This is not living. And we, we hope that each and every person that is listening, that you take steps to feed your soul. You are here to live. You are here to experience. You are here to thrive. The source of your creation does not want you to be here suffering, does not intend for you to be burdened or sad or depressed, or even for some of you suicidal. That is not the wishes of source. Source wants you to thrive and be alive and live and enjoy and shed all of these old paradigms, these old belief systems that you must do things a certain way. Reinvent yourself. Find your soul. Find your happy place. Find the thing that lights you up. So when you say there are people out there that are in these endless jobs and they are feeling their energy sucked and drained from them every day, this is, this is a large amount of energy at play here. You will be pushed and pushed and pushed. The universe will not support you being unhappy anymore. 
If you are unhappy in your work, you will start to find that everything around you is just making you that much more unhappy until you're pushed and pushed and pushed to the point where you either get fired or you walk out because God, source, does not want you to be this miserable. And so you will be pushed until you make a change, a change that will hopefully bring you into a much, much better place, give you time to think about what makes you happy and strive to find that make the changes make your desired changes if you are in a relationship that isn't working or a job that isn't working and you are miserable and unhappy one you make everyone around you miserable and unhappy it is nobody else's job to make you happy that mm. comes from in here you know what you would want to do the famous question if money were not were not relevant, what would you do? And then follow those ideas, those thoughts that would feed your soul. Would you do the job that you do if you were not getting paid? If not, then maybe you need to look and see what would feed your soul to the point where you would say yes to that question. And maybe for some of you, that is just something on the side, like a hobby. To look forward to. We understand that this is a material world and you will need your finances. We do understand that. And we are not saying to run out and quit your job. We are saying <laughs> run out and find your passion and maybe the passion will lead you to something even better. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um is this still the Imperial Council that I'm speaking to? Yes, it is. Okay. Before I move on to the next question, do you have anything, any other messages for the YouTube Collective by any chance? Hmm. What, what I am doing right now is I am actually scanning the YouTube Collective. Those of you who will be watching this video, <laughs> As there is no time and space, I can sense your energies. There are a couple of you out there that are feeling lost. Keep listening to this video. We will be doing a healing and frequency update. And when we do, there will be an activation in that for you. So keep watching. Okay. Is this for the, the healing meditation? Yes. Okay, we can move on to that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, as we bring in the shaman for the healing meditation, that is where we will go now. There will be some light language and some discussion. As we will allow that to move its energy into vehicle. So what we want to do is we want to start with everybody up here in the crown chakra. We would like to have all of you, uh, as you see, the energy is being moved in a clockwise motion. We would like you to imagine that that is happening above your head right now as we are clearing the energy of the crown chakra. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of you has a guide, has a Hmm, angel or collective or council of your own and they are helping you right now with this energy that is coming in. This frequency will be one that you have not experienced yet. This frequency is one that is hmm, waiting to come in to help you acclimate to some waves that will be coming in later in the month and into March. Mm -hmm. And so we ask you to just be open and allow yourselves to activate this healing within your vibrational fields as well as bringing in the updated frequencies to help you bring in clarity and bring in a whole new hmm, level of understanding of who you are mm -hmm. and we ask if you could please just close your eyes and imagine this energy is now coming in just like a 
big funnel of energy through the crown chakra and move it down through. And we are going to activate the rainbow body in some of you, if you are ready, as we collectively ask for this to come in. And we are asking for this rainbow energy to come in through the crown chakra. And as it's coming down in through the crown chakra, it is almost like static on a television as it moves through your energy field. So we would like you to see multiple colors of this rainbow energy moving through the energy field that is you, that is your aura, that is your light body. And allow this, this energy to just flow through the entire being of who you are as it takes you now down into the earth energy and moves it around in a counterclockwise mm, getting you grounded and feeling very anchored into this beautiful earth energy an energy that not many take advantage of by the way and we ask you please be more mindful you have a most magnificent energy that is below your feet and as you sleep at night you can even bring this earth energy up with intention and it moves through your body and brings in a clearing and it moves through just like a filter to remove all of the toxic energy of the day. So we ask you and invite you to start doing this as a regular thing for your body, for your mind, and for your energetic field each and every day as you go to bed at night. Have that earth field of energy move through your body to bring in a clearing and clarity and also a good night's sleep. Mm. A lot of you are not sleeping well at night, and we want to ask your guides, your councils, to please move on your behalf, and we do ask you to invite them because you do have the free will. I can say it, but you need to say it, and this is something that will need to happen for you. To move that energy in for you, you must ask your councils to come in and work with you. They need your permission. So each and every one of you that are willing and able to do that, please do that right now. Move that energy in. Pull it into the heart of who you are. And we ask in that highest vibration possible to bring in the remembrance of who you are. The spiritual beings that have come in in this form to create and to move this energy that is no longer of service to you the old paradigms, the old construct. We ask that you bring your minds and your focus into this space, into the space of, mm, of joy and of creation and of manifestation and into the magic of all that you can create and will create with this energy and this vibration that you are taking on from listening to this. We ask that the sound of the voice that is coming through right now is carrying a vibration that will move through your body and that will make this mm, anchored in for you, that you will find yourself now manifesting and creating and being in this magic very easily. But we do ask you to be mindful because this is a manifestation that can work both ways for you. It is very important for you at this time to stay in the energies that stay positive for you. Stay in the energy of what you would like the world to look like. Stay in the energy of what you would like your life to look like, your relations to look like, your jobs to look like. In your mind's eye right now, I can see that some of you are already creating this most magnificent energy and it's going out. It's going out from you and it is coming from the heart and it is coming from the power and it is coming from the mind's eye. And it is going out into the world and it is making hmm, a most wonderful and creative new timeline for you and just step into that know that all of this old stuff that you have been hanging on to is no longer useful and it is easy to just say that it's okay like you are taking it off like an old coat and letting it fall to the ground and somebody is wrapping you up with a brand new beautiful light energy coat that you are moving forward with and you are being creative and a master of your own destiny using the mastery and the alchemy of who you are and of who you came here to be, you truly are stepping into a most magical time, a most magical time. And in order for you to really experience this magical time, we ask you to keep raising that vibration. You may decide to listen to this part of the recording many times, and that is good. As you bring your vibration up, bring it up, 
opening it up, there is so much more to, for you to have access to. So much more for you to have access to. And you are just getting started. This world that you are creating right now in your mind and as a collective, you will be so amazed. Let's say a year from now, you have been practicing this magnificent energy. And a year from now, you look back at your life and you'll be like, oh, wow, I did that. Mm -hmm. And you'll be very excited that you did. Stay positive. Stay in this beautiful vibration. I know you can feel it just by my voice. I can feel it coming in from each and every one of you. Raise this up. Bring your energy up. Reach for the stars. Reach for the sky. Mm. Yes, don't limit yourself to the sky. Mm -hmm. Whichever one of you thought that, I caught it. Okay, let's reach for beyond the stars. Mm -hmm. Beyond the galaxies. There is no limit. And your mind can take you anywhere. And start allowing for that to happen. Start allowing for your own deeper connection with the councils, with your spirit guides, with your angels, and most important, with yourself. Let these connections happen for you. Let this vibration be the vibration that carries you for the rest of the week, the month, the year, and so on. Keep practicing raising the vibration just like we did just now. Feel the energy raise up. And as we continue to do this as a collective, the amazing things for your planet will just continue to expand. Things that you couldn't even imagine or think about at this point in your life will happen in glorious, magnificent ways. Things that you couldn't even know about are about to come true. And that's happening for you because you are stepping into the blessing and you are stepping into the magic and you are stepping into the knowing that there are no limits, infinite possibilities. And so it is, we bring it in for you. And there it is. We are asking you to bring this language into the vibration as it sets and holds this vibration for you at this time. It is acting as almost like a shell to help you hold this energy, as for a lot of you, this energy is new. And for some of you, it is quite familiar. And so we're just helping you to mm, just encase it and wrap it around yourselves and keeping it tight and, and close to you so you can hold this vibration longer. Mm. And that is a message from Mother Earth to be a reminder to always connect with her, to send her love and joy and peace as she loves you we love her in return. She supports you, we support her in return. For without this planet, there would be no you. So we remind everyone, be mindful of the earth and send it love and energy. It is in a deep need of our love and our energy at this time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We also ask and invite you to love and appreciate the air you breathe, to take care of the things on this planet that are hmm, taking care of you. Take care of the things on the planet that need you to take care of them, the small animals, the plants, the earth, the water, all of it, the air. It all needs you to take care of it, to survive. And so as you work together in union with this beautiful planet and with each other, you will find a most magnificent outcome. We like that word today, magnificent. This is the outcome that we are looking for. Mm. And so the healing portion of this is now complete. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
you relaxed already. <laughs> yes. Very good energy. You mentioned the energy waves. It, this was earlier. You mentioned the energy waves for February for Valentine's and everything. Um, is that energy from source or is that energy from the sun by any chance? Mm, everything is source. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is from the sun. There is, as some of you may call solar flares, solar flares are sending in a frequency. They are waking up. They are moving through the vibrational field of the, of the human being, of the energy field, of the physical field, of the human being. And they are, they're shaking up the energy. They're, they're part of what is waking up the body. Some people may find this agitating as it is stirring up those things that we are, nobody here on this planet at this time is getting off the hook. If there are things that you have not healed or have not worked through, if there are things that you hold on to that are not serving you and keeping you hostage in a reality that is not of your highest good, then this energy will come in and it will, it will shake up the energy within yourselves. It will unstick it. So if you have energy stuck within yourself that is creating heartache, that's creating aches and pains, fibromyalgia, discomfort, um, many people feeling many different physical things hmm. from, from sinus colds to even cancers. There are things energetically stuck in our bodies that are not serving us right now. And so we ask you to just bring those vibrations from the meditation, from that energy work that we just did. Please, if, if you are feeling like you want to focus that energy on something specific, go back and listen to that recording and move that energy into the specific location as it starts to eradicate the stuck energy that is within your vibration and moving it out and pulling away the belief systems that you carry with it and allow yourself to go through the emotions, allow yourself to go through the releasing and just allow yourself, if you feel tired, sleep, if you feel energy, play, go do things. Laughter is a release. There are so many ways to release the energy. Go for a hike in nature. Go for a bike ride. Go get on a treadmill. Hmm, talk to a friend and laugh. Spend time with people you love and enjoy. There is just so many ways to release energy that is not serving you. Allow for the body to release the stuck energy and the stuck vibration. And that is what these, these waves of energy are coming in to assist with. That is what the solar flares come in to assist with. There are waves of energy that do come other than through the sun, but there are a lot of frequencies that can be acclimated to this new way of being that you can get from being in the sunshine and from taking in the sunlight. But there are also frequencies hmm, that are coming in through different planetary means, different atmospherical things that are happening. One of the things that I do believe we will be talking about is the planetary shift, the hmm, solar shift, if you will, or the polar shifts. And this is causing a lot of different energy to happen on the planet as well. And we have talked about it before, where the planet from its core brings energy up and out. And from above, energy is coming in. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of things happening to the physical planet itself. Mm. I do not remember if we talked crop circles on your video before, but crop circles are a frequency that is coming in and out of the planet. They are not just something for the planet, though. As you look at the patterns of the crop circles, you also absorb the frequency of these patterns. They are, hmm, they are there for you if that is something that is resonating with you at the time. They will create healing. They will create awakening. They will create a knowing and a movement forward for you. Hmm. Many of you have felt very stuck and we say to you now is, is the forward movement. We ask you to invite that into your life and just ask your sources, ask your high self, what is my next right move, but not just any move. Let's ask for that next right move for your highest outcome. Wouldn't we all like to be on the timeline that provides us with our highest vibrational outcome possible? Mm -hmm. So 
ask for this to be your reality. Believe for the highest vibrational outcome and know that there will be some disruption along the way as the old belief systems are still making their way through your energetic field and trying to make a presence as you are saying, bye-bye, let them go. And then raise the bar, raise the frequency, expect better and better will show up. The source wants it to, and so do you. Work together with source and let that better outcome be your outcome. Was there more questions about the frequencies or the waves? Yes. Um, the energy that's in February that's coming mm -hmm. or that is going on, is this the same energy that we talked about in August that later on this summer? Is that the same energy or is this kind of like different frequency, different the type of energy? Sorry, did not mean to interrupt. It's okay. Coming in August is a much stronger wave. Mm, the one that is coming in this month is is still preparing us for the bigger wave that's coming in August. If if August were to manifest itself now, there would be many that would not be ready for this yet, and it would feel very drastic, very hard. And our purpose with these waves of energy, and the amount that we let through at the time is not to burden anyone. We want to do this in a way that is as gentle as it can be for each individual and participant. We want this to come in in a way that is doable and manageable because for some, it is very emotional. It is very harsh. And hmm, you may have experienced this where people around you are saying, I just got through one thing and I took a breath and then boom, there's the next thing, you know, the next challenge. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like it is coming back to back to back with only just like a half a second of a breather before the next challenge shows up. We say to you that this is unfortunately the way that it needs to go at this time is we are in an accelerated place with the ascension process. We want as many of you to make it through this ascension and make it into this alternate reality as soon as possible to help raise, how do we explain this? We need the masses to collect and become more of a collective versus an individual. But first to get to this place as the individual, you must do your journey. And as the individual does its journey, then it becomes part of the collective. And oh, is that a great feeling. It is such a great feeling to have such a deep connection with the others, with everyone that has worked so hard to get to this place. And we are working at bringing everyone that we can to this level. Because as we can get everyone up, as we get everyone up into this beautiful level of the collective, then the collective can put out this beautiful energy and raise even more people up. Mm. As if you could just see the Im images that they are putting here in, in this one's head. She is seeing how we are, we are creating this energy to raise everyone up into the collective that we can. And we do understand that not everyone is going to be able to move their energy up in this particular lifetime. And that is okay. There is no judgment. There is no pressure. There is no mm, rules to this. But we are taking those who are ready and we are bringing them up as fast as we can. So we do apologize for those that feel like they are in the roller coaster ride of ascension. It may feel like that at times, but we promise you the end result is so beautiful and it is so deep and it is so connected and it is the thing your heart is yearning for. It is like going home. Mm. So that homesick feeling that you feel or that void that you're feeling, that emptiness you are feeling, that is the void we are working so hard to fill with you as we move you through this. So work with us. Work with your angels. Work with your counsels and your guides. And do the work to move that energy up. You are on the fast track now. This is, this is the end game this is the fun part where you can move that energy up and out as quickly as possible you do not have to live there 
Remember, you have the choices. Release what's not working. Do the things that make you happy. Make the choice to smile, even on the hard days. Find the music that feeds your soul. Find the friendship that feeds your soul. Move into those things. It will take some work on your part. You cannot just sit on your couch and hope for this to happen. You have to do some work. You have to reach out. You have to be ready to release and and accept the love get back into your heart and open that heart chakra to become one with that collective energy and it will be wonderful nice <clears throat> i like it hello my name is jason belly i hope you watch the video from tracy mahan channeling all these different entities all these beings these beautiful powerful beings but like I said, this is a two-part video. So if not everything that I was talking about in the, in the beginning was in this video, there's, there's a second one. So just remember, it's a two-part video. So it's one of two and two of two. And it's going to be so much information came through that I had to break this video up into two. So if whether it was the solar shift, the polar shift, or manifestation or ascension wasn't in this video please check out the second video also please make sure you subscribe to the channel and Tracy Mahan's channel please make sure you subscribe to her channel and check out her website for the services she offers uh, to get that deep uh, ascension type of meditation and any type of healing or questions that you want to explore so definitely check out her website with that and like I said if if you watch in the second video find the first one i'm going to try to have both of them linked up in the description as well <clears throat> so but like i said if you don't see the second video please subscribe but there will be the second video being uploaded later on and also please make sure you subscribe to get more videos there's going to be more videos like this coming out in the future so please subscribe hit that bell uh, so you can get that those notifications when those videos get uploaded so um I was talking to Tracy and there's going to be more information coming through. And as the information comes through more and more, the information is going to get better and better. And the, from what it sounds like, they a lot of interesting things is going to happen. So it's pretty exciting stuff. So, all right, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video and 